I got my whole chest tattooed and it took 35 hours to complete. That is a lot of hours in the chair and a lot of pain that I had to endure. And to be honest with you, there was some areas that I felt like I couldn't really take anymore and I was about to tap out. So in this video, we're gonna go over each section of the chest and rate the pain of what it's like getting tattooed there. One being the easiest, going all the way up to five, which is the absolute worst. As always, a quick disclaimer, pain is relative. This was my experience of getting my chest tattoo and pain varies from person to person. Just wanted to mention that real quick. All right, with that said, the first area that we're gonna rate on the pain scale is the shoulders. Right off the bat, I'm gonna say that the shoulders was one of the easiest areas to get tattooed for me, but I faced another problem. I have very sensitive shoulders and I hate when people touch them. So getting those things tattooed was literally my worst nightmare. The best way that I could describe the feeling was like a ticklish tingle. It almost felt like somebody was tickling me with like a taser. When I say every hair was standing up on my body, it really was. It was so hard for me to stay still when my tattoo artist Matt was tattooing these areas. But since we are doing pain ratings, I'm gonna rate the shoulders a two out of five on the pain scale. They really weren't that bad at all. They were very tolerable. But if we were talking about tickles, it would be a 10. Now let's move slightly down to the collarbone area. So this area right here. One thing that I never knew about getting tattooed was that let's just say you were to get this side of your chest done and then you were to go to get this side. Both sides, they're not going to feel the exact same way. And oh boy, that I learned this the hard way when he got to the collarbone area. Left side was a total breeze. I pretty much fell asleep during the tattoo session when this side was getting worked on. But when we moved to the center and right side of the collarbone, whoo, it was almost game over for me. When my artist was working over the center collarbone, it literally felt like my soul was vibrating out of my body and it just burst in the flames. On the right side of my collarbone, literally it was the start of the tattoo session. And as soon as that tattoo needle hit my skin, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna suck. This is really gonna be bad. And thinking that exact thought to myself, knowing that I had another six hours to go. It was not a fun day. Left side of the collarbone, three out of five. It wasn't that bad. But the center and the right side was an easy, easy five. One of the most painful tattoo experiences I've ever had. Aside from the other one that is on this list that we'll be getting into in just a minute. Next up, the pecs. Now this was actually a super interesting area to get tattooed because it felt like every single time my tattoo artist moved a little bit to a different part of the pec, the feeling was like drastically different. For example, the center of my pec was all sunshine and rainbows for like the first hour. After that, as all tattoos seem to do when you go for those longer sessions, the pain started to intensify. For both sides of my chest piece, there was a lot of ink packing and detail that needed to be done, and it was not fun for me. So I'm gonna go uh, four out of five for the pec area. Now for the center of the pecs, I was really dreading this area. I was thinking about how painful the center collarbone was, and I was just envisioning like a jackhammer dipped in lava just touching my skin because that's the best way that I could describe the other area. When me and my artists were getting close to this area, I almost told them to just like, let's just wait till the next time. Let me recover a little bit. But once we got to that area, I stuck through it and it actually wasn't bad at all. I'm giving this area like a two out of five. Now for the outer pecs, like right by my ribs, I was gripping that chair so hard and my back was literally sweating profusely. Now I do know that the more sensitive areas on the body tend to lead to a more painful tattoo experience, but for some reason I just wasn't really thinking about it. I guess because I was so worried about the inner chest that I didn't think about how bad this area was gonna suck. Let's just say this when Matt was going over those areas, I was seeing stars. I'm giving this on the pain rating scale a 4.5. All right, so this next area, I'm gonna call the ninnies. Now I've been asked by friends and you watching on why didn't I get my nips tattooed? Well, there's actually two reasons for this. For one, me and my artist both agreed that when people go and get their nipples tattooed over, it doesn't really look that good or hold the ink in well. And two, the pain probably sucks. Now around the ninnies, it was no walk in the park either. Like the top area, as you can see right here. Oh, uh, and also don't make this weird while I'm showing you this. This area right here actually wasn't that bad. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. The best way that I could describe the feeling was like a really hot razor. But when we got to the sides and the bottom of the ninnies, 
the, the rim, the if you will. Rim. I really can't think of anything funny or clever to describe it. It was just absolutely terrible. Five out of five, easy. If I could put this out of 10, I would put it out of 10. Now, if you want to watch the whole series on me getting my chest tattooed, I actually vlogged each day and you could check that out right here. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Love you.